Hello, my LinkedIn uh, friends. Uh, first of all, thank you so very much for your overwhelming response to my articles and um, uh, moreover, my last video uh, talking about the difference between AI and machine learning. Um, I feel encouraged to keep on uh, publishing more of these video blogs and in the same series. Uh, today, we will uh, talk more about uh, what are the use cases of AI? Where can you use uh, what um, uh, industry can we use? So I'll continue to pick different industry, different use cases. And in today's in industry that I want to talk about is the insurance industry and how generative AI and other um, um, uh, applied um, uh, technologies um, uh, like advanced technology like chat GPT and all can be incorporated into that. So let's talk about a few of the use cases today and then uh, as per your feedback, I'll continue to bring up uh, more of these uh, in the coming uh, days and weeks. The very, uh, one of the, the most important are the big volume items for any insurance companies their claim processing. Uh, so if we can use uh, generative AI, that's a great use case for it. Uh, we can utilize it to generative AI to automate the processing of insurance claim. The system can analyze claims as it comes through its documents, extract relevant information like uh, where the claim happened, um, the claimant's information, uh, how much uh, the claim is, um, say if it's a uh, car accident, where it happened, if there is a police report attached to it or not, or say doctor's report, uh, uh, medical injuries and stuff, and make decision on claim eligibility going forward if it's covered or not. The next uh, would be your natural language processing for customer queries. Uh, that is again a very high volume for any insurance company. Uh, we can implement NLP capabilities to understand and respond to customer queries more effectively. Uh, this can enhance customer service by providing quick and accurate information. And uh, coming from insurance industry myself, having spent over 20 years with uh, multiple insurers across uh, North America, uh, I can tell that uh, uh, this is a very important and critical task for the insurance um, uh, team to make sure that the client gets all the, the relevant information and um, uh, company is able to collect that information as well. Uh, one more big ticket item, fraud detection and prevention. Uh, majority of the losses that insurance companies um, um, talk about um, are with the losses through fraud. They are not losses through their accidents or people uh, passing away or having disability coverage. Uh, that is a big item. So we can employ Gen AI to analyze patterns and detect anomalies in insurance claims data, helping identify potential fraud. This proactive approach can save costs and maintain the integrity of the insurance system. And this doesn't just go for the insurance company that we are talking about, it will go for all the insurance uh, insurers uh, across the board. Uh, policy recommendation engines uh, is another one. Uh, we have agents uh, who had to look at a lot of data, provide that recommendation. Uh, AI powered or uh, develop uh, engine can suggest personalized insurance policies based on customer's profile. There are hundreds of different things that insurance policy can have or not have or, or can be increased or decreased. Uh, Depending on the customer's profile, behavior, and preferences, uh, this can improve customer satisfaction. Uh, we can look at risk assessment and underwriting uh, automation. Again, a very big ticket item and a lot of uh, impact to a company if uh, the underwriting is not done correctly. Uh, one important thing that has come up recently, and I have done multiple of these uh, with IBM Watson and uh, Google uh, Dialogue Flow ch is chatbots for customer engagement, and this goes both customer and internal engagement. Uh, you can implement AI-driven chatbots to handle routine customer interaction where they don't need a lot of information or they are not looking to make any changes to the policy, which of course you need an insurance agent to do, and provide like policy information, assist with basic inquiries. This can enhance customer engagement and reduce response time. Now a customer doesn't need to wait multiple minutes or sometimes 35, 40 minutes to get to an agent they can collect the information themselves. Uh, other use cases of predictive analysis for pricing model, customer sentiment analysis, dynamic pricing and personalization, and automated compliance monitoring using Gen AI to monitor changes in regulatory requirements, which is again, uh, insurance being a compliance-driven uh, market 
is very important for the insurance company. Now these use cases uh, showcase how advanced technology, including Gen AI, can play a pivotal role in transforming various aspects of insurance industry, from improving customer interaction to optimizing operational efficiency and risk management. Uh, these are some of the high level uh, uh, use cases. I would uh, again uh, request um, uh, all of you to look at these, provide your feedback, and let me know what you would like to hear in the upcoming uh, uh, video blogs from me. Uh, we'll continue on this journey together in 2024. Uh, again, uh, Gen AI is the way to go, especially AI. If you're not very familiar with that, uh, we will talk more about it. And once again, uh, thank you. Uh, signing off. This is Pankaj Bakshi, uh, co-founder of RPA Bot Pro. Uh, we are AI. We are an AI and automation um, uh, company set out of uh, Toronto, Canada. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Now.